Hello, this is Aaron with ANET Computers from ANETcomputers.com again. Here with another potential fix for a problem you might be receiving with your Windows-based computer. This deals with Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, and I sorted it, categorized it under software problems. Outlook failed. Fix Outlook failed to start correctly error. What to do? If Microsoft Outlook stops working with error message, quote, Outlook failed to start correctly, do you want to start in safe mode, unquote? Make sure to try rebooting your computer first. If you still have that problem, then please run a repair on Microsoft Office. And then here's another potential tip. If you do have access to web-based email at your work, location, corporation, etc., you can go out to Outlook.com or, again, if your employer has their own web-based email, you can quickly go out and use that in case of an emergency. And then when you have access to your email, it's no longer an emergency, then you can go back and try to fix it. But if you do not have web-based mail, then you perhaps you have another computer. You could use a co-worker's computer possibly to access your email or you have more than one computers and then you can set up your email account on that computer and hopefully at least you can access your email if it's an emergency. Continuing on, click on start then select control panel. In control panel go into add remove programs. In add remove programs highlight then right click on a version of office you have installed. Select change then choose repair in that office setup dialog box. Click on detect and repair errors in my office installation. Then click on install. We just want to repair Outlook via an office repair tool and not to change any of your Outlook settings by reinstalling Office. And these instructions were basically written for Microsoft Windows XP, but th there are similar steps on Vista 7 and Windows 8. And then I have included a short tutorial from Microsoft with similar instructions. You can skip to how to repair or reinstall Office programs section. And then one little final tip, I guess. If you're using Windows 7, Add Remove Programs is no longer called Add Remove Programs. It's now called Programs and Features. So in Windows 7, you go to Programs and Features. And then although it's still under control panel. You go to control panel, but instead of it being named add remove programs, it's now programs and features. So let's, I have that link already opened up. And this is an official Microsoft article, how to install, repair, and reinstall Office 2003 programs and features, which is the same thing as add and, repro add and remove programs on Windows XP. So they have a quick summary and then more information. I'm not going to go through this section right here. So it just tells you how to install individual features in Office 2003. And then on the description of this YouTube video, I'm going to include a link to my blog post so that you can quickly get to this Microsoft article. It might be productive for you. It shows you how to install individual features in Office 2003, but that's not really part of this particular video so I'm gonna close that it just has a quick summary and then on this page it just tells you it has how to install individual features how to repair and then we can collapse that so let's get to where there's instructions and it tells you properties it this applies to all of the Microsoft Office 2003 products Okay, so scrolling down to this section, how to repair or reinstall Office programs. And we don't necessarily want to reinstall them because it can change some of your settings. So right now, we just want to try to repair Outlook so that it works normally, so that you no longer receive that error. This procedure detects and repairs problems that are associated with installed Microsoft Office programs such as registry settings 
and missing installation files. This procedure does not repair personal files, such as worksheets or templates. The following two methods describe two ways that you can use the detect and repair tool to detect and repair problems with installed programs. Method number one is to run detect and repair on the help menu. So step number one is on the help menu in any office program click detect and repair. So if you are able to open Microsoft Outlook but it just doesn't work right you can go to the help menu and then select detect and repair and then step two would be to click start. And then it says here there's a note to restore program shortcuts to the start menu verify that the restore my shortcuts while repairing checkbox is selected. A second method on how to run a repair is this. Method two, run the detect and repair tool from add or remove programs. So you go into control panel, then you go into add remove programs. So number one, click start and then click control panel. Number two, double click add or remove programs, click Microsoft Office 2003 and then click change. Number three, in the Microsoft Office 2003 setup dialog box, click reinstall or repair and then click next. Number four, click either reinstall office or detect and repair errors in my office installation and then click install. We want to select repair. We don't necessarily want to perform a reinstall, not yet. I would recommend you try to run a repair three times. You don't want to reinstall anything yet. We just want to run a repair. If it doesn't work after three times, either via the help menu or via add remove programs, then you could all, then I think if you want to, well, it's your, obviously it's your choice. It's up to you. You could then reinstall and then perhaps that will fix your issue. But for now, we just want to repair. If you choose to detect and repair problems in your Microsoft Office installation, click to select the Restore My Start Menu Shortcuts checkbox to rebuild your Microsoft Office shortcuts. And then I guess you could, what you could do is you could run some registry and file system cleanup tools like CCleaner run a registry scan, run a cleanup tool. You could do that before you run a repair. You could run though a registry scan and a system file cleanup with whatever your choice of program. I prefer CCleaner, but there's plenty of other ones out there that are just as productive before you either run a repair or a reinstallation. So hopefully, and then again, these instructions are basically for Windows XP and then Office XP, also known as Office 2003. But certainly these tips could help you perform similar troubleshooting on Vista 7, Windows 8, and then also Office 2007, Office 2010, and then et cetera. Then, you know, the latest and greatest. So hopefully after this video or after some of these tips, you will be able to repair Outlook and you will be accessing your email. So you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other potential fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.